here's what you need to know before you go on a fast. Number one, fasting is spiritual. When you decide to go on a fast that the Father has even nudged you to go on or you feel an urge to go on, you're deciding to go on a spiritual journey to cleanse, to detox yourself, to crucify your flesh so that you will hear the Father clearly without any interruption. So who should go on a fast? Every believer should go on a fast. Why? because it's biblical. There's over 40 scriptures in the Bible that talks about not if you fast, but when you fast. And when you begin to fast, you are humbling yourself so you can hear what the Father is saying concerning you. Fasting is not manipulation to get God to do anything, but fasting is denying your flesh, abstaining from food, that you will hear the Father concerning either you or your situation. So how often should you fast? There are different types of fasts. There's the 24-hour fast. There's the three-day fast. There's the seven-day fast. There's the 21-day fast. There's the 40-day fast. There is a weekly fast where people either fast on a certain day every week. There is a corporate fast. There is a normal fast. There's a partial fast. There's a regular fast. And I want to talk about it so you will have instructions on how and when to fast. So let's talk about a partial fast. A partial fast is restricting yourself from certain foods and drinks for a restricted time. For an example, Holy Spirit may actually go on a partial fast from 6 a.m. to 12 noon. So from 6 a.m. to 12 noon, I'm not drinking anything until after 12 o'clock. So that's a partial fast. He may say also no TV, no social media, whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to do, do it. And one of the things that I want to put as a, not a disclaimer, but I want you to understand is that you're going to always hear me mentioning Holy Spirit. Because when I talk about Holy Spirit, what I'm trying to get you to do is rely on him and not go off of your own intellect. Because when he tells you to do something, you're going to get his results. And so a partial fast involves giving up certain foods for a restricted time. That may be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., whatever the time is, you want to follow that. And so you will see the results. And also on this partial fast, you need to be praying during those times that you will eat. If you're not going to pray during those times while you're fasting, then you might as well go ahead and just eat because you're literally hindering the purpose of the fast. A complete fast is no food and no water for a restricted time. I used to go on a complete fast all the time. For, for an example, um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., nothing, and then eat after 6 p.m. Now do it for a certain uh, amount of time. It just depends on how the Holy Spirit is leading me for that season or for that week. So that's a complete fast. It is excludes food, excludes drinks, it excludes TV. When I'm talking about fasting, just know that entertainment is not a part of it. This is a time to really seek the Lord. This is a time to get in his presence. This is a time to get in his face. So the complete fast is no food and no drink. And if you see me looking down, it's because I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information. Let's talk about a liquid fast. A liquid fast is nothing but liquids. For an example, you can have vegetable juice. You can have 100% juice. You can have water. And you're doing it for a specific time, drinking only liquids as Holy Spirit leads you. Another fast is the one day fast. This is the fast where you are deepening your relationship with God, where you're drinking nothing, you're eating nothing for 24 hours. This is a fast that you want to be led by Holy Spirit. This is a one day fast to literally deepen your faith, but also to deny your flesh so that you will hear the Father even clear. This is the one day fast. It is no food. It's no drink. Um, a lot of people don't go on this fast, but these is a, this is also a fast that you can go on. It's a one-day fast. And during this fast, it is building a relationship with Christ. It is deepening your faith and it's crucifying your flesh. Let's talk about the Esther fast. The Esther fast is a three-day fast. It's a fast where you are literally for three days um, coming before the Lord in prayer. You are limiting what you're eating. You're limiting what you're watching, what you're doing. And you are petitioning the Father to you receive answers for what God has for you to do next. 
let's talk about the Daniel fast. The Daniel fast is a three week fast, a 21 day fast with nothing but fruits and vegetables. So you're cutting out meat, you're cutting out sugar, you're cutting out alcohol, you're cutting out any of those things that you know that you like. And this is the opportunity for you to spend three whole weeks in the presence of God. Even while you're at work, you're on this fast. You're not telling anybody about this fast, but you're, you're doing those times. You're praying, you're seeking the father um, earnestly in prayer. And those moments that you would eat, you would literally let that go and turn your plate down to really spend that time with the Father. So that's the 21 day Daniel fast. A lot of people go on this fast in the beginning of the year, but I'm telling you, if you would just listen to the Holy Spirit, whenever he tells you go on this fast, go on this fast. And the last one is the 40 day fast. And Jesus went on this fast. And a lot of people do not go on this fast because this is a fast that the Holy Spirit has to put you on, has to call you on. And so you don't want to go on this fast unless Holy Spirit has directed you to go on a 40 day fast. So all in all, prepare yourself for a fast, whether it's the one day, the three day, the seven day, the 21 day or the 40 day. I'm telling you, the reward is so worth it. And when you're on a fast, this is not a time to tell anyone, don't look sad, don't look mopey, don't look like I'm on a fast, I can't eat that, or I wish I could go on a fast. Be sincere, because as you go on the fast, God is dealing with your heart. As you go on a fast, God is dealing with your mind, your perception, your perspective. As you go on a fast, God is dealing with those things that you, if leader covered up or hidden, God says, I'm gonna deal with those things on a fast. What happens if you eat on the fast and you weren't supposed to? You don't sit there and allow condemnation to sit in. You get up, you dust yourself off, and you keep going on your fast. It's the enemy's job to get you to quit while you're on your fast, but you stay committed to it. So even if you messed up, you say, you know what? I ate this. I forgot about it. It's in third. Don't, don't completely shut the fast off. Keep going to start over, to start going back on what God has told you. So if you messed up that morning, Continue that afternoon. Don't allow nothing to stop you from hearing the voice of God. The fasting and the praying is for you to draw close to God. Yes, you will receive answers. Yes, you receive miracles and insight and breakthrough. But it's about you drawing closer to the Father that he may speak to you without any interruption. Have a good one.